What's up everyone, welcome to my third C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over declaration statements and variables. Now what a variable is if you've never programmed before is it is just a placeholder for something else. So as you can see we have our uh, old statements from uh, tutorial 2 here. So let's go ahead and delete all these C out ones. So now that we're just using the namespace, the system, and the return. So let's go ahead and the first thing we need to do when we use a variable is declare that variable. And this tells C++ what kind of variable we're using. And in this case, we want to use a number or integer. So we put int. And then we need a name for our variable. And I'm going to name it my number. So again, we're using an integer variable, and it's going to be called my number. And since this is a statement, you need to end it with a semicolon. The next thing you want to do is give a value to my number. We told C++ that we're going to be using um, a variable called my number but now it ha doesn't have a value so to do this it's really easy just type in your variable which is my number and set it equal to any number you want I'll set it equal to 20 because 20 is my favorite number and next let's tighten this up a little bit so the next thing we want to do is output this variable on the screen and let me show you what this looks like let me just output a basic output my number is in oops forgot my semicolon and on the next line I'll put the variable my number and let me just show you guys one thing that you may not have noticed anytime you're working with a string of text which is just a uh, letters or a sentence they need to be in quotation marks but anytime you use a variable such as my number which has the value of 20 it doesn't need to be in quotation marks if you put quotation marks around it like this it would read my number is my number but we don't want that we want to read my number is and it will have the value of 20 so let's save this compile and run checking for errors and as you can see it says my number is 20 now change that and as you can see we don't if we want to change that we don't need to change it down here all we need to do is change it up there say to 54 and save it execute compile and run and as you can see now it says my number is 54 so this is one of the ways where you could type a bunch of code and if you had this variable used say a hundred times instead of going through it one by one by one by one and changing every number you can just make a variable change it one time at the top and it will change it for every instance and this is really useful when uh, you build large applications and you need to use the same variable many times so next time in my next tutorial I'm going to be talking a little more about more variables so uh, I hope you learn something right now so study this learn your basics and variables and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel thanks